Sporty SUVs have been all the rage in recent years. Skoda has also recognized the trend and decided to launch a new purely electric sports SUV. Hi guys, welcome to Italy. Today I'm in the Toscana together with Skoda to test the all new and all electric Enyaq Coupe RS IV. The Czechs say this is the fastest Skoda ever built. But is it really? I'm gonna find out today. The abbreviation RS has a long tradition at Skoda and stands for Rally Sport. Since 2000, Skoda has been labeling its particularly powerful production cars with it, regardless of whether diesel, plug-in hybrid or petrol engine. With its electric drive, the latest RS model of the Enya Coupe fits in well with the diverse drive variants of the RS models. So let's talk about the driving and I have to say, 299 horsepower and 460 newton meters of torque are pretty solid numbers for an electric SUV. And you can really feel it if you hit the accelerator how the 299 horsepower are working here. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Despite its 2.3 ton weight, a sportier chassis and the intelligent power distribution of the all-wheel drive give enough traction to get the Enyaq Coupe RS IV going on the road. So 6.5 seconds from 0 to 100 and 180 kilometers top speed. I have to say it's not the most impressive numbers you get here but they are not bad as well. The Skoda Enya Coupe RS IV is powered by electric motors on the front and rear axles, which together produce 220 kilowatts of power. So when you drive on a twisty road here in Italy, you can feel that the car is really much fun here. Because when you hit the accelerator, you get instant power and instant torque, which a combustion engine will never give you. So you can accelerate out of a corner like this and have a lot of fun. The Enya comes with all-wheel drive as standard and has a claimed range of 545 kilometers with a 100% charge. When the street is good, you can feel that the Enya is really, really comfortable and smooth. But if there are some holes and bumps in the street, you can feel the 21-inch wheels working and this is not that comfortable, I would say. With the new coupe, Skoda hopes to continue the Enyaq success story. It was built on Volkswagen's MEB platform, like the VW ID5 and the Audi Q4 e-tron Sportback. But in terms of price, the Enyaq Coupe RS IV is almost 4,000 euros more than its sister model, the VW ID5 GTX. So let's talk about the design, guys. And I have to say, usually I'm not the biggest fan of a SUV as a coupe. But I have to say, this Enyaq really looks great to me. I think it looks futuristic with this Matrix LED headlights and the crystal face, as Skoda calls it. And I think the Mamba Green also fits the car really well. So all in all, I have to say, the design is pretty nice. The biggest differences between the RS and the normal Enyaq are that the trunk holds up to 570 liters, 15 liters less than the non-coupe version. The cockpit is the same as the regular Enyaqs. The RS version stands out through the RS logos on the steering wheel and seats, as well as green decorative stitching and piping. So let's talk about the inside of the Enyaq Coupe RS IV. And I have to say, I really like the big screen here and the materials they used. It's almost like Alcantara leather all over the place. Then you got, of course, a little bit of hard plastic on the doors as well. But I think for a car like 57,000 euro, this is pretty perfect. In Germany, the RS version of the Enya Coupe can be ordered from 57,700 euros. You can choose between two options, the RS Lounge or the RS Suite design. Both come with the aforementioned contrast stitching, as well as decorative strips in carbon optics. These design elements are also clearly visible on the back seats. 
here in the back, I have to say, it's pretty comfortable. You've got a lot of headroom and a lot of knee room, even though it's the smaller coupe than the normal Enyaq. It's just a little less, but you don't even recognize it. The Skoda offers enough interior space for a family, and it's roomy enough so you can go on long trips. Of course, then you'd have to go easy on the accelerator. Otherwise, you can forget the claimed range of 545 kilometers per full charge. So guys, what's my final verdict on the Enya Coupe RSIV? I have to say, it makes a lot of fun driving here in Italy on these twisty roads. And you see that the electric SUV will perform pretty well here. All in all, I have to say, it's the sportiest Skoda nowadays, but you can still improve it in some points to make it even quicker and sportier.